Here I have two images I've taken. One I purposely exposed for the sky, but the foreground is underexposed. The second one I purposely exposed for the foreground, but the sky is washed out. We can combine the best aspects of both of these photos in a process called HDR, or High Dynamic Range Processing. We can do this in Camera Raw, and we can do this in Photoshop. So let me show you both ways of doing that. So first of all, if I wanted to do it in Photoshop, I would highlight both images in Camera Raw, come into the Tools menu, down to Photoshop, and choose Merge to HDR Pro. I'll click on that. Photoshop says, I'm busy, but that's okay. We will tell it to go ahead and do that anyway. So here we have uh, Photoshop has gone to work, and we can play around with, with these uh, sliders. Uh, so for example, uh, we can adjust the gamma. We can adjust the exposure up or down. We can show the, the detail. We can bring the shadows up or down. We can add vibrance into the image. Um, we can work on the highlights if we wish to. We can even choose if we want to do an 8-bit or a 16-bit or a 32-bit image. I'm going to stick with 8-bit right now and then just click OK and it will create the file. There we go. And then I can play with it further. Let me show you the other way that we can work with it and that is in Camera Raw. So again I have the two images highlighted, but this time we'll go into Camera Raw. We'll select both of them in the film strip view over here. Go into the menu and say Merge to HDR, and we have an option called DeGhost. Sometimes when you're, when you're taking two different images, something's going to move. Like the wind might be blowing and the leaves move a little bit or a bird flies into the image, what have you. And so Photoshop compares the two images and says, okay, where it's red here, things move just a little bit. And so de-ghosting uses Photoshop's ability to get rid of that as it merges them together. And we want to align the images and we want to apply auto tone and, and color adjustments, then we'll hit merge. In this case, Photoshop wants to save all the data from both of the image into a camera raw image, and that will be a .dng image. I'll click save, and there we go in camera raw, and then we can play around with it further, like adjust uh, the temperature and highlights and everything that we've done in Camera Raw in the past.